Ah, welcome back. Is I, Jesse, doing a really bad Deckard Cain? Welcoming you to the official, actual, 100% playthrough part of my initial Diablo 3 videos. As I explained in the previous video, that was sort of your primer on what to expect for this game, and this is the actual playthrough. I'm a level 10 wizard, so I'm just going to blow through this first area, because I can. As you can see, I'm joined by my Templar buddy. We'll call him Steve. Templar Steve. And we are about to go see Leah inside the inn. And it is written, a fire will carve a furrow in the sky, and this shall be a sign unto you that the end is come. As you can see, there's all sorts of, like, flair. I don't know what you would call this, like, background conversation. Just like between you and your Templar, there's guys that you can meet and then talk to. Death may be upon us all soon, but I shall do what I can to ease your pain. Thanks, buddy. Don't know if everyone has conversations, but I know a lot of them do. The dead have been a bane on our existence since that cursed fire fell. We have to burn them just to make sure they don't rise from the grave. Hard times call for harder choices. Now, again, as I had mentioned in the previous video, if this guy was not in your group, he, of course, would not have said that, but it just goes to show all the different things that can happen in the game should you play again with, say, this character as your partner or the, the all the different ones. I guess there's... I'm trying to think. It's not a bounty hunter. It's not a smuggler. What would you call that? A rogue, I think, is the other character you can get. There's a few others. Anyway, let's go in here. I don't care what anyone says. That thing that fell from the sky was no rock. A rock doesn't cause the dead to leave their graves. Have you come to help us? The other adventurers who came through here didn't look so deadly. I do look kind of badass. Like a giant elf. Are you Leah? Rumford said you survived the fallen star. I did, but it blasted my uncle Deckard Kane into the depths of the old cathedral. I tried to search for him. But the dead were already rising. I came back here to rally the militia, but the Watch out! The wounded are turning! Nope. This is killing business. Sorry, bro. The dead will overwhelm us all unless something is done. I will make certain that doesn't happen. Your town is safe. Thank you. You should speak with Captain Rumford at the gate. He can tell you what to do. Oh, Jennifer Hale, is there a voice you don't do? Oh, Welcome don't want to kill to that slot, guy. Caffeine. Bring me whatever treasures you have no use for. I'll give you a bit of coin to save up for your casket. <laughs> Not funny at all. Okay, um, I guess I can sell stuff to him. Probably should clear out the inventory, huh? All right. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, boop. Now, normally, if I came here the very first time, right here would be a book that uh, would have either Leah or Deckard. Someone would have a message in it. And it would be one of those things I showed you last time, which is here. Which I think I can actually show you what that one would have been. This. We've been under siege for six days now. Uncle Deckard is still missing. Captain Rumford and the others are losing hope. I tell them not to lose faith. But if help doesn't arrive soon... So it's just more story, more background for you while you play. Which I think is really cool. Especially when you find a monster that you've never met before. And Deckard sort of appears and is like, oh, I'll tell you about this monster. Can you move this thing? I need to get by. How dare you speak to me like that? I'm the mayor of this town. Why are you trying to leave? Are you mad? This town is doomed. Anyone with a grain of sense should be trying to get out. Will you help me or not? I am not in the habit of helping cowards. And that's why Crimnox is a badass. Don't you... The oh, dead didn't mean rising to do that. from their graves. This must be the end of the world. As we know it? Well, I feel fine. Sixteen militiamen went out. Only Rumford came back. Akarat, help us. We never should have built on this cursed ground. So, this is new, Tristram, for those of you who 
haven't figured it out already. Where is old Tristram? Well, we're about what to find out. What can I do to help you fight the Risen Dead? I admire your courage, but Captain Dalton and the militia were slaughtered by those things. Only I survived. Thanks for the warning, but I won't be dying today. Badass. Well, I have seen you fight. Strike at the wretched mothers and their queen. They're the ones vomiting out these horrors. Boom, son, boom! Super boom. All right, so anyway, there are these, I'll try not, I'll try not to kill them so quickly. There are these uh, undead guys who just shamble wow. around. This is a dismal sight. And they just shimp like that, right? Just undead dudes. And they're a bigger version of the undead dudes. And, like, they still live even after you kill them. But then there are the uh, mothers. And what they do is they spit up the dead. There, right there, there's one. And they vomit up dead people. You know. Because that's natural. Oh. And just because I can. Let's break out my, my buddy. Hold on. Ah. Well, companion. Oh, it's a chicken. I've never seen the chicken one before. And he'll just run around and collect gold for me, so I don't have to. Go to it, chicken. Thanks, buddy. So here's something that is, is unique. Every time you come to this area, at least that I have, and you can watch this in any future playthroughs I do with this, these are always different. Sometimes this one's closed and another door is open. Uh, it, it just depends. So... Even though the area itself is the same looking, what you can do in it changes. At least in the overworld. Uh, I'm not quite sure about dungeons yet, but I assume we'll get there. Oh, you can pretty much destroy whatever you want to destroy. Just for, These you know. little quill fiends can't be far from their nest. <laughs> that nest won't spawn any more of those vermin. Because <laughs> I killed them. So I guess that's pretty much all you would do in here. I can't find anything of value. I guess, whatever. I do not understand how evil walks in the day. Should it not fear the light? Perhaps the sun is neutral. But the light is both a literal and figurative foe of evil. Again, some of the color commentary from your character and his ally. Which I think is really cool. I, that's one of my favorite parts of the game right now, actually. Go get that gold, chicken! One of the best parts about being level 10, at least for me right now, is that uh, my arcane power really doesn't diminish all that much. Here's a good example. Last time I was here, this door was open. So we'll see what else is out there. Nothing. Ooh. Boom, rotten log. Oh. Hmm. So I need to kill a bunch of dudes for no reason. Now I'm sure somewhere out there someone's gonna be like, oh Jesse, this isn't cool. You're destroying everything so quickly. That is why I enjoy it so much. Especially on Crimnox. I'll let you know now. Um, from what I've played of the melee classes, you kind of get your butt handed to you. Like, I, I, especially a monk. I feel like they need to buff monks. But I guess when we play a monk, we'll talk about that, huh? Go. Down to the cave. Hmm. Don't think I've been here before. Nope. Really not much down here. Huh. That's interesting, because usually there's an event or some type of special 
happening, I guess you would say. But that one didn't have one. I, maybe those are even random as well, too. So the events, like the, the little quill creatures that we just killed, maybe those are random as well. Which would be interesting. Ooh, that guy exploded. That was pretty awesome. There would be number three. Yeah, that one's boarded up, so you can't go in that one, even though the, I know for a fact there's something down in there. You have to forgive me for not picking up everything, because it's pretty useless to me. Ooh, what is that down there? Can I go down there? I guess not. guess that's just supposed to be, like, spooky effects. I'll try to show you some of the different spells, just because I know someone's going to be like, Oh, Jesse, do that. Tristram. The gods certainly hate this town. This village surrendered to evil and paid the price. So I'll see what I can do for you here. You've seen uh, Magic Missile Electrocute. Let's see what I can do with Frost Nova here in a sec. Find a bunch of guys to just kill. Oh, oh damn. Okay, that was the wrong lady. That would be that. I'm wounded. Go over here. Still waiting. Come on, bro. Boom. And what that usually does normally is it freezes guys, so you as a uh, wizard have time to escape and then blast them with something. But need more time. Really, at this at this level, it just sort of one shots them. Uh, I'll see what else I can. Where I need to go is there, to the waypoint, but I'm going to pass on that for now. Keep exploring. You know, because I can. Hopefully you understand why I love this, uh, what is this, electrocute so much. It's pretty freaking powerful for just no reason. Don't you dare nerf it, Blaze. I swear to you, I will, I will come to the headquarters and kill you. Ooh, lost journal. I had heard the rumors, but I thought them just fancies of bored women. Until I saw them dragging people through the streets today. Our own citizens. Is the world gone mad? Uh, pretty sure, bro. Pretty sure. Alright, so what we're gonna do now is... Equip something different besides Frost Nova. Let's do ice armor. What does that look like? Give me a one. Very cool. Can I unequip that and then put something else on? Like magic weapon. Nope, I lose it. Lame. Requires a... Um, ooh, gross. I guess if you want to be like the melee dude. Not having it though. Wow. Okay, for a moment there I was kind of speechless. That was badass looking. But again, that's absorbing damage. And that's why I have this guy. So, pointless. Uh, there's Wave of Force. Very cool. Knocks guys back. Uh, but really of no use for me right now. I got an orb that shoots, you know, at the direction of enemies. But it's very slow. And I have a feeling that, that this is much more powerful. At least right now. For the moment. But as I unlock more of these, I assume I'll get more. Uh... Not a big fan of this. I wasn't a big fan of the version of this that was in the original Diablo. Well, Diablo 2. Uh, that's, that's very cool. But again, that's close range. So, really not my thing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that little demonstration of abilities. By all that is holy, do you see that enemy over there? Oh, I see it. Boom! Oh! I hope so, bro. That's right. That's where, that's where you get the good loot. And the fact that you can destroy things like that, just random things, actually comes to play later in the dungeons. Hopefully you guys will stick with me long enough to see that. Alright, back to town. 
thank you for your help. But could you talk some sense into Leah? She won't give up on the idea of rescuing her uncle. Nor should she. I will help her find him. Quest reward, you get some money, you get some XP, you get some pants. Very cool uh, life regen pants, but I'll show you what I have on right now, which I think is way better, is I have better chance to find magical items. Then I have these I got from the final boss of the demo so far. Uh, they're pretty amazing, but I love this stuff. Um, increases experience by two. This one is max damage, min damage, which is pretty great. Uh, in experience by two. Experience by two. Uh, do I have another experience one? Experience by three. Uh, and then find better magical items. So basically I'm geared out to find stuff and level, which I think is a, a pretty great option. Come, let us search for your uncle. We'll need to open the cathedral first. The guards locked it up before they were ambushed. Rumford told me they fought their way back to Adria's hut. The key must still be there. Okay, so now I have three people in my group. Here, let me open the gate. <laughs> Damn, she threw that thing all the way back there. Okay, lady. Adria was my mother, but I don't know much about her. She died when I was very young. I was raised by Uncle Deckard. What about your father? I'm told he was a great warrior who was lost when Tristram fell to the demons. Uh, lore spoiler alert for those of you wondering. Adria, the witch from Diablo 1 and 2. And in Diablo 1, according to what Leah just said, she shacked up with the wizard. No, I'm sorry, not the wizard. The warrior who, uh... Ended up being the guy who shoved Diablo into his skull. And then it turns out, retconned lore, or new lore, I'm not sure which, but that guy is also King Leoric's son. So King Leoric's son then became Diablo, bang the witch, who gave birth to Leah. Enjoy that twister of a... a something over here. Mind bender, I'm not even sure what you would call it. So I she's clearly going to be important because Daddy was People Diablo, was a witch, but I never believed it. And Mama was a witch. Well, Daddy became Diablo in Diablo Two. If you haven't played the game, sorry, I just spoiled it for you. Boom! Here's the key and my mother's journal. What I've seen of it is disturbing. I want to know more about her, but that can wait. We need to save Uncle Deckard first. I'll search the cathedral. You stay here and learn what you can. Thank you. Again, quest rewards. She decides to stay behind in the creepiest place on Earth. Sure, okay, lady. We move forward. Ridiculous ability. Oh, lightning bolts, you are amazing. Another unlucky villager. Look at him come out of nowhere. I like how the music sort of builds up to like, oh, you're totally screwed now. But they have not met Grimnox the Sorcerer. So here's the cathedral from the, uh, pretty much every Diablo game. I think the evil sisters had it in Diablo 2 and where you spent most of the time in Diablo 1. We have only one way to go. Here's your first dungeon crawl in Diablo, which is essentially what this game is about, really, when Tristan it comes down to Cathedral. it. Cathedral. I am amazed it still stands. This must be where the star fell. Its crater is tinged with some strange magic. Do you smell that? The stone itself burns. So whatever that was, it is clearly 
bad news. And if you saw the trailer, that's that big meteorite thing that was in the beginning of it. So, uh, whatever it is, it's important. Here's a little thing that I kind of love. Watch this. Wait, hold on. Boom, son! I could do that again. So could I, buddy. There are random things in the dungeons now that you can use your, to your advantage, like that, for example, and, and not even have to fight the enemies. And then there are enemies like this guy, who explodes the little ugly worm things that, at least when I was playing on my monk, kicked my ass. So, hopefully, we won't ever have to... Ooh! These little guys! I love these little guys. Okay. For those of you wondering, that little guy is uh, one of the goblins in this game. I believe so. Ooh, level 11. Stronger within you. But uh, let me verify that for you. Uh, back. Skeleton King. Imp. We're not those guys. Ghost. Treasure Goblin. Here you go. Some devious little goblins have been robbing our merchants. When pursued, they simply open portals and disappear with the most aggravating chuckle. The peasantry seem to believe that the goblins serve a great demon lord known as Greed. <laughs> and furthermore, that their portals lead to Greed's domain. A ludicrous notion, truly. Here's one of my favorite things about this game right now. Those little guys, hopefully some of you have realized what they are, but they are an entire homage to the game Golden Axe. Whenever you would sleep in that game, little impy guys would appear and steal your stuff. And then you could beat them and get your stuff back plus more. And I always loved that. I thought that was one of the best parts of that game. And I'm pretty sure those little dudes that you can whack and get gold and stuff out of is a Blizzard sort of way of saying how awesome the game Golden Axe was. Which, I do agree. That was a pretty terrific game. I don't think this is the way, but... Never hurts to look. Dead villager, dead villager. The Herodrum had a monastery here long ago. Perhaps if they had stayed, none of this would have happened. Indeed. Off to find Deckard Cain. Oh, God. Yeah, so those guys, if you're melee and you get really close to them, their explosion hurts as if you couldn't tell. Where am I going? Help me out here, game. If only they could see me now. Mommy, wow. I'm a big kid now. Mm, I guess it's chess. Short sword of the angels. Hello, what is that? Oh, I like the effect on that thing. So, that, like, glowy stuff is the holy damage. Huh. Well, you know what? Why don't I do this? And we can... Uh, test out that one ability. Why not? What was that called? Magic weapon? Oh, terrific. Still not what I would consider that great, but, you know, whatever. To each his own. Maybe some of you out there are like, oh, I can't wait to play as a mage who kills things with a sword. Damn. Oh, damn! Oh! Well, that is one way to clear a room. But, uh, yeah, let's go back to my old step. What else did I get? Energy Twister. Let's try that, shall we? Hey, you, guy! Have an energy twister! Can I follow it? We'll just keep going? That didn't seem to do much. Oh! These things, various shrines around the dungeons, you can click on them, and they will give you more XP, or more gold, or more, as you see, more magic. Anybody down here want to die? They weren't even near that. Oh, I guess they were. Okay. How does that feel? 
I'm slightly impressed. I didn't expect that to happen, honestly. You understand why I love this guy. None of these things came after me. They all went after him, which is great for me because I don't have to worry about it. Bookshelves you can loot or not loot. Come on, game. Work with me here. Still trying to find Deckard Kane. Where's this guy at? Not here. Boom! Why walk around it when you can just destroy it? Villagers. I guess we're going this way? Okay, I guess Deckard's not this way. Any books? No. Okay. Well, that proved entirely fruitless. But, uh... I guess he's back down this way and I just missed something. Which I usually do. It's a dungeon crawl. I'm not the most obs uh, observant person in the world. What the hell word was I going to use? Observersant? Nice English, Jesse. Thanks, game. Blades out! Look at him get sucked up. That's pretty cool. Hold on. Suck them up in a tornado. Or don't suck them up in a... That seems like an incredibly useless skill. Like, great. It gets the dead bodies, but doesn't do much more than that. Okay. Sure. Anything special? Look like a special bookcase, I guess not. Nothing. Alright, sure. Uh, must have got the whatever came out of there. Alright. Oh, the Orc's Passage, perfect. Thank you for helping me fight the darkness. To contend with evil is the essence of what it means to be a Templar. There is so much more in this universe. Oh, minions, stay back! Back! May this web fall! Oh no! Skeleton King! The power of the fallen star awakened me, and soon all will suffer as I have suffered! Gods, bring me his bones! <laughs> You're about to see literally one of my favorite parts of this entire game. I'm way above them, right? Electrocute from above! You don't even need to be on the same plane as them in order to fight them. Which I think is wonderful. You have no I, I can't even describe how much that like, makes this game feel more alive. And the boss over here. Thank you, but why did you risk yourself for me? You live. Fortune smiles on you. I'm trying man. to tap I'm your daughter, you old man. It is wonderful to hear. Or niece, whatever. I whatever. fear the worst. I learned of this secret passage through old maps I found. We and must back to New Tristram. The fallen star. Follow me to Tristram. Okay, old man. All right, and that's what we'll leave off for now, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. We'll be back with the next part and where the story takes us from here. See you then.